So when I talk to DMOs, CVBs and hotels, we talk about all kinds of things that are important to them, such as mobile travel, social media, search marketing, and it's all interesting. But there's always one thing that comes up during every conversation, and it is how about the drive market? Does Focusrite have data in the intelligence on regional travel? And you know, I get it, because most destinations and hotels get the majority of the business from travelers that are two, six hours drive away. And most of our research normally covers the entire US. But now we have good news because we are launching a new and exciting project where we divide the US into six regions. And we will execute a very in-depth research into the buying behavior of travelers from each of those six regions. So we will learn the difference between a traveler from North Carolina, Connecticut, and Texas. The industry often thinks of flights as the backbone of the U.S. leisure travel market, but flying isn't a given. Highways are just as important as skyways in delivering travelers to their destinations. In fact, over a third of travelers stayed in hotels but didn't fly in 2011. And of course, flyers don't take to the skies for every trip. While Focusrite typically conducts studies on a national level, this special project will hone in on regional dynamics. To do this, we'll target our sample across six regions in the U.S. for a national total of 5,000 adults who have driven to a leisure travel destination on a trip that included a hotel stay. This study is about the vacations where travelers are their own pilots, how they decide where to go, what to buy, and why. So this will enable the CVBs, the DMOs and the hotels to fine-tune their marketing strategies and tactics to their regional markets. The project is called Staying Local, a regional study of the US road traveler. It's pretty cool, I'm excited about it and I expect many DMOs, CVBs and hotels to join us in this exciting project.